brought the bicentennial plate and the bicentennial mug and a, a print of Fort Augusta. Well, these were done in 1972 was the bicentennial. That was bought from the Sunbury Historical Society. Okay. And um, these were bought at the, at the bicentennial in 72. So and this was bought at the Hotel Edison. Okay. How do these items connect to Sunbury history? Well, it's, it, it's celebrating their 200th anniversary, which was what, 72, 40, 40 some years ago. And this was the fort that used to be in Sunbury from 1756 to 1784. And still there today, a replica of it. Right. Which, I, as a kid, I used to play at the old fort before they mm -hmm. built the new one. You used to play at the fort? Yeah, it used to be. When I was little, mm -hmm. well, just I was born and raised in Sunbury. So I, I moved for a while. I lived in, Phil, in Philadelphia. In the early 60s, I moved to Philly. And then in 1983, I moved back to, to Sunbury. It's kind of stupid, but there used to be a little store on Bainbridge Street and Sunbury, right off the, the old tool bridge that came off the, the original bridge. You had to pay to go back and forth on. I used to go there and buy one cent candy, which chocolate. I'm still a chocoholic today, but that's what I did as a kid. Every day I'd go to the store and get a soda and a penny candy.